Ah, oh, today's the day. Better late than never. What I'm never up? late. I'm never late. Let's go, chest. Come on, let's hit. All right, we have we have leg day, okay? Okay, fine. We're gonna hit legs. I just need an energy drink. Let's go to vitamin shop. Easy, right across the street. Yeah, Jim Weed is at every single vitamin shop starting now, so. Let's go. You're wasting my time. Let's, Come on, go. let's go. Perfect, my favorite. Give me the pineapple. Give me the pineapple. No, I don't. Give me the pineapple. Please. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Vitamin shop. Go check it out. Nationwide, right now. Are we rolling? Are we live? Should I talk about the traumatic thing that just happened to me? Nothing traumatic. Yes, it did. I was sweating oh bullets in the car. What do you think? They're going to fucking arrest you? Okay. Backstory. Okay. So there's a backstory to this backstory. Yeah, you being a crazy <clears throat> reckless driver. No, I was following you out of the zoo culture parking lot. Okay. Um, whatever. I ran a red light getting onto the freeway. I ran. I full on ran it because I was trying to keep up with you. So, but in my defense, you ran the yellow, and then there was a car in front of me that ran the red, and then I ran the red. And he got you, and he got me. And then was that when you were turned onto the freeway? Yes. Oh, okay. And then I'm sweating and freaking out and i'm like fuck he has his lights on he's telling me to pull over outside his window like he's got his hand out were you on the off ramp yes okay and i was like i can't pull over on the off ramp that's unsafe i gotta go stop at a gas station or something so i still drove another mile got off on the white oak got off at the gas station so he followed you on the freeway to the other exit yes yes, oh yes. that's weird um he has Listen. lights on and everything like i was like he got me he got me and then um i like Pulled my license out and I stuck my head out the window and I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't know where to pull over. And he was like, It's okay, it's okay. And then I was, he was like, Damn, so you pulled the girl card. Yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry. Dude, this never works for guys, man. And then, and then, um, <laughs> it's bullshit. No, she goes, oh, Are you Sarah Safari? No, he was like, Where were you going? And I was like, I was going to film a podcast with Bradley. And he goes, Bradley, hmm. And I was like, Yeah, like, I'm really sorry. And he was like, I was like, I'm really fucking sorry. I said, I'm really fucking sorry. And he was like, you have a Cal Lutheran alumni on your license plate. Why are you cursing? I was like, I'm so sorry. Dude. <laughs> and then um, he was like, well, go on your podcast and tell Bradley that today's your lucky day. Whoa. He didn't check for registration. He didn't check for anything. And I ran two red lights, by the way. I ran the red light getting on the ramp. And then you know how the ramps have the red lights to like let one car go at a time? Ran I ran I that one ran too. That, one. that one's stupid. That's Can we what, talk about that? Yeah, those are optional, whatever, but you can't explain that to a cop. Yeah. Anyways, he was really nice. He let me go. Um, and you know what's crazy is today in my YouTube video, I swear to God, I will post it Friday. I said my toxic trait is thinking I can always talk myself out of tickets. I've seen you tweet that before. Yes, I've also tweeted it. Yeah. And then I, the you guy was it. really nice though. He was so nice. And then he waved me by. And, oh my God. He was so nice. Wow. This <laughs> never. Officer, if you see this. I love you. This never is the same thing for men. It's like, they're like, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, it, 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 license and registration. Yeah, he didn't even ask for my registration. They already got your ticket written up. No, no for real. They give you, they don't give a fuck. It's, you know what? It's fine though. I guess, I guess that's life. He was so nice. That's life. And this is Jacob, they were like, get out of the fucking car, throw him on the floor. <laughs> yeah, but also I feel like attractive guys, it's harder to get away. Like if you're an ugly guy, like maybe you can get away from talking yourself out of a ticket. But if you're already a hot guy, oh, if you're a hot guy, you're for sure getting the ticket. I think so. I think so. If you think hot... they're prejudiced against guys that are they're like even more prejudiced against attractive against guys. Attractive guys, yeah. Are you calling Jacob attractive? Are you rizzy Jacob no, I'm not up right to now? Riz Jacob, this is insane. But Jacob's aesthetic, like he's. he's are you a... trying to riz me the fuck up right now? No, I'm not trying to riz you up. I'm just saying that he's. Jacob might be the most like he 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 should probably be on. You should be on camera sometimes. Yeah, bro. he's a. He I, should. Yeah. Like, as far as the back end guy goes, he's, like, jacked. He, like, works out and yeah. shit. It's pretty funny. I can admit when a guy's attractive. Yeah. I I can't. Yes, you can. I mean, I do it all the time. No. Um, <laughs> Bro, you don't just admit it. You try to sleep with them. Well, that's a whole different thing, though. Oh, yeah. You're right. But what are you talking about? Sorry. It's completely different. Why? Are you judging me? I'm not judging are you. Are you judging me? No, I You're just didn't know. You're judging me. I'm, you are judging me? I just didn't know you were gay. I'm not gay. Don't say it with like the it's a bad thing. It's like... It's different. Yeah, it's okay. It's not gay. If I was just the fucking random dudes, it's gay. What, what about kissing another dude? Kissing? I think kissing is for sure you're gay, right? Isn't that how it goes? I Speaking of kissing, did you see Steve will do it? Kiss uh, Yes. Oh, yeah. Steve kissed. Steve kissed Gorlock. Gorlock. He kicks. He kissed. No, but I want to applaud Steve because unlike Whoa, other... Why are we applauding Steve for this? I want to applaud Steve because mm. unlike other people, Steve made her feel so special. He bought her a car... He treated her so good. 
He, you know, he. He treated her. He bought her a pink Range Rover. Bro, that's he treated her so well. And he gave her a kiss. Who cares? It's fucking Steve. I know. He will do it. He will definitely do it. <laughs> if he it was anyone it. else, I saw a comment. I, it was like, yeah. Steve can get away with this. But if it was they're anyone like, else. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, this guy really will fucking do it. Yeah. That's crazy. No. And not only did he kiss, he like swished liquid in between their mouths. It was cute. I liked it. I watched Ugh. it a few times. Don't ask Ooh, me how many watched, times I watched it. You watched it. that one back? <laughs> yeah. Why is that cute? I don't know. I, no, I just like how he doesn't care. Oh, no, he don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah no, I envy a that a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So you would, would you do that? Would you do that with Gorlock? I feel bad calling her Gorlock. What's Al, Ali is her name? Al Weezy. Yeah, it's Al like Weezy. her. Yeah, Ali, yeah. Al Weezy. They say, they always in the chat, they're always like Ramundo. No, because I would never kiss anyone on camera. So it's not her. You'd only the, kiss them off camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it couldn't be tracked? <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, I'm kidding. Dude, I, I'm honestly like I'm I'm close to never uploading a YouTube video ever again. Have you? When was the last time you uploaded YouTube? I don't even. It's it's so. I upload. Obviously, we upload the podcast. I yeah. always upload the podcast. So I will never miss that. But I don't know, man. It's not the same. YouTube's not the same anymore. I know. I even me today. I was filming for YouTube, and I just kept saying, "Chat, chat. What do you think?" Yeah. Like I was we live need a live stream for real. Yeah, we need to do it together. We'll do it. I, I'm I'm working on a deal right now. Speaking of that, we saw Fusi. Oh my gym. god, yo! I talked to food, dude. He he's so nice. No, I forgot how the first thing he ever said to me was like I met him or whatever. And then afterwards, he DM'd me and he was like, um, "Oh fuck!" What? Is that what he said? No, he did not say anything oh, of okay. the sorts. Mm, I can actually pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. He did not. Don't unsend it. Don't delete it. I'm not Let going me verify to verify it. Okay. He wouldn't say that. I know he wouldn't. Say no, that. he trolling. he wasn't trying to like do anything inappropriate. No, he's he's honestly really sweet. Good guy. He said, this was in June. He said, you are so kind today. That leaves an impression on people. Keep being you. Let me see that. Oh, he did say that. Wow. You think I'm lying? No, damn. You guys, Why you you guys DM a lot. What the fuck is he? No, we don't DM Whoa, a lot. Whoa, <laughs> dude. You guys DM a lot. Wow. We I'm don't. <laughs> you guys like, there's a lot of <laughs> shit here. Whoa, what are these pictures? What the fuck is he sending you? Well, I, listen, that's not my business. No, that's you know there's nothing like that's that not on there. Um, but I'm excited for him to come back. <laughs> it's literally only okay, yeah, 10 well, messages. It's only, uh, I'm not going to tell everyone what you were sending. There's voice notes and shit in there. You guys probably singing love songs to each other. No. That's super cute. His voice. I don't want to expose him, but this voice. No, don't play his voice note. We're so funny. That's private. Don't play that. It was funny. Yeah, don't play that. What the fuck? Um, I'm (laughs) kidding. There was nothing weird there. Nothing weird there. Um, But I want him to come back. But I talked to him, man. And like, you could tell it's classic. Like I've I've been, um, I guess, at different points in his life because we've been making content for so long together uh, on and off where like. He gets so in his head about just being the best, I think. Yeah. That, like, he, he sometimes doubts himself. Which I is, could see is, that. He was overthinking a little bit. Yeah. About. It's interesting because, like, I guess I, I guess I keep trying to remind him he's not, at, like, before he started the whole streaming grind and, like, changed that whole fucking space, like, I'd say for the better and obviously making it more challenging for all these streamers doing it now because, um, like, they kind of have to perform more and, like, go out instead of just desktop stream. Mm-hmm. Um. He had he was like, you know, essentially fucking unknown to a lot of new people. And then he fucking completely inserted himself to the industry streaming and blew up. And essentially, I'm trying to tell him, like, bro, it's not the same. Like, you don't have to rebuild that all over again. Everyone's just waiting to watch you. Yeah, whatever he does, goes and gets dinner. I mean, people want to watch him. He he created all this. Yeah. I think he gets ahead of himself in his mind where it's like he thinks that uh you know, he needs to do some crazy shit in order for people to like actually like it, like watching him. And I don't, I don't think that's necessarily true. I know, obviously, there's all those viral moments where like he's smacking Doherty and like he's doing all the crazy shit, and like mm-hmm. people are like, what the fuck? But I don't think it needs to be that way. And also, I think it's just that's just not a sustainable like thing to try to do is to be crazier and crazy because like you see what happens ends up happening is like people end up fucking fighting and shit. Yeah, I see saw that Zerka and, and HS. Yo, Zerka's your boy. What happened? Even though he came at me on Twitter a <sighs> lot. I don't, I, I it, dude, I don't understand what was going on with his footing. Yeah, I like, don't. He, he was. But that goes to show you that weight does not mean you can fight. No, weight d- definitely doesn't mean you can fight. No, not at all. Because. I mean, I'm 260, though. <laughs> it's a little different. 
How, Zirka, how much is Zerka? He's pushing 260. Yeah, but there's a difference between weight that people have and there's a difference between weight that's like been used a certain way to be built a certain way. Oh, Has, so is Zerka squatting 600 pounds? Answer that question. Probably not. Are his hips that strong? No, he got laid out by HS. I don't know. It's I, I don't know HS, but he's been popping up on my TikTok yeah, a lot. I, I don't know about laid out because like it just uh, to be honest, it looked like dude couldn't even just hold his feet like on the ground. If I'm being straight up honest, yeah, like on the ground. Do you think because it was I saw staged some, or no? It was no, real. No, because dude, the other dude <clears throat> HS was just fucking chilling, drinking with his girl. Mm. Like that was 100 percent not staged. It I got, know they they came heart, there to make that happen, but yeah. like. He was just chilling with his girl. My heart sank when they got in front of the cars and started fighting. Why? Because I was like, I feel the like they should have just over? they should have just kept fighting. To to really solidify what's gonna you know really keep because like everyone's like, oh well he was on top so like it, it would have been different and like then the whole excuse is like, oh the guy they said the police are there so like they stopped fighting I'm like they should just kept fighting, and there's no like okay you violent person no 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 it's just like you know how everyone likes to argue yeah. like. Because he got dropped. Like, he got dropped twice. And then he got on top of him and was like, oh. So it's just like, just why didn't they just let him finish it? He, okay, okay. Right? Don't yeah. you think he should have finished it? Yeah. H, yeah. But then what is finishing it? Killing each other? Like, no, what like, the fuck? To the point the other person can't defend themselves. That's finishing it. Where, like, yo, it's like, yo, you got to stop. Yeah. I see. Like, kind of like UFC. Like, they call it when the other person can't really defend themselves like anymore. Like, knocked out or tapped out. Yeah, like a even TKO. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that was, but that's the, of all that shit aside, it's interesting how it's like that streaming shit is, is, is that the direction it's going in? It's like, you gotta, you gotta just be ready to fucking fight, fight on yeah. site. But it's crazy. Cause you're always live. So you know, the whereabouts of the person you just pull yeah. up on them. That's yeah. scary. It's honestly, it's crazy. Cause the whole, that whole like space is so interesting. It's so exciting. Yeah. And shit like that, like I, that day, I think it was like. The other dude got jumped. Heel Mike, the guy who films with Zerk all the time, he mm. got jumped by like some random kids like really quickly and then they left. And then uh, he, he, that HS fight with, with Zerka, um, it just like, it just seems like, I don't know. I feel like people should reel in just a little bit. Yeah. You know, instead of just fucking randomly fighting. I don't know. Just reel in a little bit. A little bit. Or go hard. That's funny coming from the street fight king. Yeah. It's like, Okay, so you either want them to kill each other or not do it at yeah, all. I don't want them to, yeah, either kill each other or, like, don't do it. Right, kind of like the people that are like, I'm not going to drink unless I'm blacking out. Also because, <laughs> well, that's bad. So like, there's, you can either go all in or nothing. Well, I'm also like, isn't there, there's, like, money that could be actually made. Yeah. You know, it's like, you guys might as well set up something and, like, just can make some real money instead of just, like, but then again, it's like, the viral nature of those clips helps them propel each themselves, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I guess it's a give and take thing. It's crazy. Would you ever pull up on a bitch and just snuff her out? Actually, I was talking about this yesterday. I think about it a lot. Like, if I do go out and, like, a girl steps on my foot or, like, shoulder checks me. You ain't me, doing shit, dude. You ain't doing shit. I would love to clock a girl in her I don't face. know if you really, like, you know, like, could just put, I don't know if you can put that power behind the punch. I feel like I can, though. You really? Think, I mean, another girl, probably. All right, punch me in the face right now. Do it. You want me to punch you in the punch face? Punch me in the face right now. Do it. No, punch me for real. Gonna, punch you, me for real, you put. You can't take yeah, it. Okay, punch me somewhere. Cause you you punch like a weak ass bitch. Like actually, yeah, like you wouldn't knock someone out. Put in the face, like right there. Bam, you're done. I don't know. Imagine you knock me out for real. I'm not even afraid of you hitting me. Honestly, I'm not. You're so weak and small, dude. Isn't that crazy to just be like you can be like beat up by like anyone. I don't think I could. I don't think the average woman on the street could beat me up. That's what I'm saying. I'm Any kidding. man can I'm take me. With you. Any man could take me, but I don't think the average woman. You should call out those fucking the bitches who always talk about like women's bodies on the t Twitter. I don't know the, her fucking name. You should just call them out. Be like, just find them in the street and rock their shit. Facts. My issue with all this, like, I remember I was told I was asked to do um, some boxing. I just don't want to, you know. You don't want to what? Give clout to someone that doesn't deserve it. Yeah, maybe. I think you should do it, though. Yeah, I want to fight. You should find someone for I'm, real. I'm trying to cover up the zit that you kept talking about. I have a fat zit on my forehead. And yeah, Brad kept like, pointing it out I'm today. Just, it was, I was calling it a horn. Look like a horn. Yeah, it's kind of You know, of like, weird. those people, put, like, they get, like, horns, like, like 
yes. implanted. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. But yeah, that's I thought why you did that. I thought you were like, this will be a new look for me. Cut my hair, implant a horn. Oh, yeah. Do you guys like my short hair? No one likes the hair. No one's thinking about the hair. They like it, right? Suck, my right? hair kept falling out, so I was like, might as well cut it. It's awkward. It's one of those moments we were at the gym earlier before we were training and <laughs> before we came here. And you're like, you know when girls are like, you didn't say anything about my hair. Yeah, you didn't. I didn't even. Actually, I did notice for a second. And I was like, I'm going to not say anything just on purpose. That's kind of rude. Yeah. Because why, why do girls always want guys to be like, oh, my God, your hair. It's the validation. But it's like, or guys like don't compliment. even think about hair like that. No, you know? but you could you could have been like, wow, Sarah, like it, it looks nice on you. Wouldn't you expect a you. girl to do that and not a guy? Yeah, I mean, I'm, actually, I think compliments mean a little bit more when it comes from a girl. Right? Yeah. Why? Because, like, girls are more catty? A little bit, yeah. So if and a girl compliments wanna... me, I'm like, yeah, if a guy compliments me, I'm just like, thanks, bro. That's a usual day. No, nah, I don't get compliments like yeah, that. Yeah, you do. Everyone compliments you. Everyone's like, even Fusi, before you left, he's like, oh, you're so sweet. Got good energy. Yeah, he's really nice. He is nice. That's the best compliment, being like you have good energy or you have good vibes. So could you really stream? Do you, I have a question for you. Could you stream solo? My issue is if I were to, I could desktop stream solo. Yeah. But if I were to live stream, I would be scared to be alone. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's cool, but it's fun having a group. It's fun having a group, and I think it makes it more engaging for the audience as well because then, then there's different characters involved, you know. What do you think, like, for people watching, like, who are like, oh, I want to get into the blah, blah, blah. What do you think to get into streaming? What do you think it requires? I think... You have to kind of either know someone that's already big in the streaming world. Well, that's like social media in general. Yes. Or you have to be big on other platforms to funnel the streaming. Okay. Now, as far as, let's say that's not an option. As far as just being a good streamer, what do you think it requires? Because you've been around, you, you know, you've been in the mix. What consistency. Do you think? Just like anything else, it requires yeah. consistency. But I think streaming is the hardest thing to blow up on. I don't know right now. It seems not that hard. Like currently. Unless... Like, I feel like you could blow up on streaming. Steve can blow up on streaming because they already have this cultural relevancy and people know about them. Yeah, and you kiss, like, you know, Gorlock and... Were you jealous when you saw dude, that? Dude, I was like, like I why, know that's did, your why is he not kissing me? Yeah. Honestly, it's fucked up. Yeah, that's It's like, dude, we've known each other for so long. Like, how would you kiss Gorlock? And, and not, not yeah. That's crazy. I'm so sorry. What I get fuck? that. I'm hurt. Honestly, I don't want to do this podcast. What the... Brad, <laughs> sit down. It's okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yo, I don't give a fuck. Clippers cut it right Yo, there. I don't he care. Walks off. It's funny, dude. I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> dude, you know what's funny about that? The like the the sus stuff. Yeah, dude, Aiden blew up off sus stuff. That yeah. was like his number. Besides the music stuff, it was sus. Speaking of that, you know uh, who is so funny? Who is Anali Chapa? Why? Because he does the most sus stuff with Kai, like streaming wise. Oh, oh, you talking about when they were in in the prison thing, and he yes. was like, he he looked at Kai. I saw a clip of it. And Ali looked at Kai and was like, um, I'm going to f*** you <laughs> up. I mean, f*** you up. Dude. It was just, I can't explain it. It's not funny with me saying it, but like he's low-key a really good actor too. And Ali is. Wow. He, and he's a good dancer. I think he's AI generated. AI generated? What do you mean? Like he's not real? Yeah. Like he's a plant? Like an AI plant? Maybe. And Ali, are you? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe. What else you got going on? I've been doing um, uh, fantasy sports. Bro, every I, I love that shit. I love it, but my picks don't hit. Uh, that's because you're a girl. But I've been studying it. I look at the stats of the players. You actually? Yes. Oh. Damn, you just don't have it like that. I sit and I study. It sucks. You'll get it one of these days. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You know who's really good at gambling? Steve. Yeah, maybe I need to ask for his picks. One of the best. Yeah. That guy's kind of like a cheat code when it comes to gambling. It's funny because he tells me Dana's the one that helps him. Yeah. Well, Not with fantasy. I think, I think Dana's fucking so good at gambling. Yeah. Like, it's kind of insane. It's it's insane, actually. I swear these motherfuckers count cards. No, you can't count. I mean, you can count cards. Well, you could have an idea of like how many cards you've seen, how many yes, cards are left. but you could be doing idea. that too. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not as good at it. Oh, you're not good at all. You lost 10K in 10 well, minutes. Well, that's different. That's because I was just like, fuck it. And then, you know, I felt really stupid after that. Yeah. It was not a good idea. I'm going to do it again this weekend. Are you going to Vegas? We're going for F1. We said specifically Sarah is not invited. Are you actually going for F1? Well, I'm going to stream and yeah, F1. With who? 
Steve. Why did you not think to invite me? What do you mean? Like, I'm actually astonished. If this is real, I don't know why you did not think to invite me to F1. Oh, I don't have, I don't have like a thing to F1. I'm going just to stream. Where are you staying? Red Rock. That's where I always stay. Yes. And you didn't think, oh, Sarah loves Vegas. Sarah loves streaming. Sarah loves cars. I, I don't, well, I'm not actually going to F1, to be fair. I'm going just to stream and then probably do some podcasting stuff. Stream with who? Steve. For the Steve. Brad and Steve show? Yes. Yeah, we got to solidify. We're solidifying the deal. Bang. You're what? taking Jacob? Jacob, my guy, he's going for sure. Jacob's and then who going. else is going? Me, Jacob. Um, we're going to bring uh, Faith. We're going to bring uh, who are those other girls? Um, um, fucking Kaylee. Kaylee. Uh, okay, you're just you're just trying to make. No, me we're bringing other girls. We're bringing like five other. Then like, why girls. did you not think to invite me? I'm kidding. We're not bringing anyone else. It's just it's honestly for the pod. Because I'm gonna try and get. I want to. I want to get one of the drivers. Whatever. I'm not even upset. I'm gonna do you want to go? No, I'm gonna go on a trip, and I'm not gonna invite you. And I'm funny enough. I'm going. You always to, go. You never invite me. What the I fuck? I always invite you, when? and you never want to go. When I invited you to New York with me for the Snapchat thing, you never want to. No, because I I want Snapchat to tell me to come. No, you're such a girl. I want Snap. You're such a girl. Yo, I'm a girl. You're a girl. Yo, uh, no yeah. shit. Oh my, how? What, so That's I, such a girl thing to say. Like, no, I don't want you to invite me. I want them to invite yeah, me. Exactly. A girl no. thing, a big girl thing is like, you'd be like, yo, you can come. You're good. And you're like, D you should have told me two days ago. <laughs> you, I want you to say you want me there. <laughs> don't tell me I can come. I know I can come, but say you want Dude, me there. Dude, why are girls like that for real? The validation. It all comes back to validation. What, that they don't feel validated? Because like, even when you're like, oh yeah, you should I swear sure to God, come. if a girl, if a if a girl gets a text like, yeah, you can come if you want, she's going to be like, oh, why does he not though? want me there? No, but like, it's so crazy because like in my mind, it's like I, I wouldn't put that out there if I didn't want the person to be there. I know, but it's the verbiage. It's the small things. You should, if you're texting like your girl. Oh, so game, game us on how to like. Okay. If you're, if you're texting your girl, like, okay. you know, and you're going to an event or a party or something, okay. do not text her. You can come if you want. Because okay. automatically in a girl's head, it's like, oh, my God, it's a pity invite or he doesn't actually want me there. He's just saying this. So he like checks it off his list that he invited me, but like not really. That's but I'm just telling you this is how girls operate. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying this is how crazy. girls operate. Yeah, yeah, go Okay. Yeah. You have to text her like, hey, babe, like it would be so much more fun if you can come with me. If you would, it would be so much more fun if you come with me. Like, please come. Like you have to kind of like validate her and beg. I know, I know you, but like crazy, crazy. but that's how it works. That's insane. <clears throat> and you don't have Riz. So like if you need I have help, no Riz. you can text me and I'll like text you what to say. Damn, that's embarrassing. I could never do yeah. that. Yeah. You should sell that service. You yeah. know what you should do? What? Nothing. You would Yeah, do that. guys, if you're yeah. ever gonna ask a girl, men, listen to me. If you're gonna ask a girl to go somewhere with you, don't say, come if you want. Be like, please come with me. Like I really want you there. It'll be a better time if you're there. You have to validate her feelings. You gotta Finesse. Even if you don't mean it, just say that. Damn. Yeah. What other good like d dating and like girl tips do you have being a girl? Oh my god. T okay, this has never happened to me, but I see it sometimes on TikTok when a guy pulls up with flowers. Okay. And I've told you to do this with your girl. I'm like, yo, go get her flowers. Go get her like an acai bowl. Surprise her. It's little things like that. Like flowers from Trader Joe's are what six dollars, five ninety nine. You know what's funny about the flower thing? I mean, Don't get them I'm from speaking. Vons. From Vons, they're expensive. Get them from Trader Joe's. I think for all guys I speak when I say this, like there's something with girls and like like getting flowers is dope, right? Get flowers yeah. every once in a while. I feel like when girls, it's it's never enough. Like it just feels like it's never enough. You know what I'm saying? Like I can get flowers. Like imagine I got you flowers and you're like, oh my God, this is so sweet. And I didn't get you flowers for like three weeks. You're like, oh, no flowers. It's a problem. But I'm saying that's a girl that probably has not matured yet in some aspects. So how, so then I always, I've had this, I've, I talked to Diego about this because he was talking about his like girl and getting her flowers or something. And uh, how many, how often, so by your idea of, oh, get flowers and make her feel special. I understand that. I, yeah. I agree with that. How for you then, how soon is it that you go, okay, if a month goes by and there's no flowers, something's wrong. Like when do you go, hey, you you're not doing this for me. 
Well, I think girls should just never establish that just because a guy did something sweet and needs to become routine. Because sure, maybe next time he doesn't get flowers, but he picked up the dinner tab to be grateful. Mm. You know what I mean? Or he he drove you and he used his gas and his mileage on his car to be grateful. So that's so, so sometimes though, do you think that girls like start just getting expect like it's just an expectation? That's just expected. Yeah, I think that's what's wrong with a good amount of relationships because i always something always irks me and i understand you're a little bit older but i think if you're 22 you you know work hard for your money okay you sure maybe you don't have an established career yet it always irks me the wrong way when the girl expects the man to always pay it's the expectation that's the issue i see because, like, for most people, like, I could probably buy a girl flowers all the time or take him to dinner or blah, blah, blah. But, like, for most people, they probably don't have sort they of They don't have your type like of that. income. Right. And then they work eight hours a day making however much money, especially if you have a minimum wage job. You work eight hours a day getting, what, $17 an hour in California, right? I think so. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, And then you go to dinner and you drop $80. Like, you just worked five, six, five hours for that. Dude, you just made me think about how when like I was a kid. Like, it's sad. How much did I make an hour? No, I, it is. It is. I mean, it's only because some girls are super grateful for it. Then like they do things to have your back, whatever. That's great. Like that's your relationship. But I think it's when the girl has the expectation that I'm going to find a guy so he can pay. And then you find a guy that, you know, it's hard for him to pay, but he wants to make you happy. And yeah, fuck, man, the world's fucked up now. So I'm saying like the flowers are like once like. Once in a while, or like that first first date type thing. I don't know. It seems oh, cute. Of course, of course. Like, and they're six dollars from Trader Joe's. Like, you can buy cheap flowers from Trader Joe's. Don't go to Vons or any grocery store and buy a thing of roses. Like, go get sunflowers from Trader Joe's. Then she's like, I don't like these. I then, want roses. Then be like, I don't like you. Get the fuck out of my car. Yeah, straight up. Because it's not the principle of the flowers. It's just the idea that it's like the thought. Yeah, because I don't like flowers half the time. I don't even put them in the vase. It's so like, always the thought that counts, right? Yeah, it's the thought. But then that's my question: is like, wh- how long until like? I guess every girl has a different threshold of how long until the thought is like, where's that thought again? Oh. Yeah. You know. I don't know. Because girls are really like that. Girls are really like. I mean, people are just really like that. You yeah. always think of what more could this? What more could I get out of this person? Or what more could this person provide me? You don't think of what the good they've done. You think of what have you not gotten yet from that person, which yeah. is toxic, terrible way to think. But I'm saying that's how. I, that's how I think. Sometimes that's how a lot of people do things. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's like I you guess... could do all these great things for me, but then I'm like, wait, Bradley, like, why did you not? you know, get me water at the gym today. Like what? Like I'll make that into a big issue. There's no water today. That's not the point. That's not the point. (laughs) We're ordering more water. (laughs) I swear to God, dude. The point is like, you've done all these great things. You gave me a case of energy drinks last week, but right now I'm fixated on this whole, like, why did you not get me water today? Yeah. That's why I think girls are crazy sometimes. But guys do it too. In what ways? Because it's not so much things, I feel like. I feel like guys are more like... Yes, it's not... I feel like with men, it's not materialistic things. That's yeah. where the women are hungry for those materialistic things. For men, it might be... Yeah, so what's your perspective on what guys want? They're like, give me that ass bitch like that. What? <laughs> Maybe not that aggressive. No, not that... sometimes... Give me, give me that... Get, come here and give me a hug. You know? I feel like oh. guys... I feel like guys are so simple. Guys complicated are in times, but mostly simple. I think guys mostly, even if, if they want to admit it or not, I think guys really need, you know, your support and you just being there rather than giving you things. A hundred percent. It's more of just your presence. A hundred percent. I think that's true. Yeah. So what so men had so men are just way more simple. Honestly, that's what yeah. it seems like. Yeah. hundred percent. And then girls are just like it's like a fucking Rubik's Cube times like a fucking 10 Rubik's Cubes. and It's like an 8 by 8 Rubik's Cube. Yeah. And something. it's like you've never done it. You've had, you know how like people know how to do it and they go like, Shh, and they yeah. just know the code? Yeah. Or the formula or pattern? But most people don't know the code. Yeah. This is like a triple Rubik's Cube and they're just like their first time ever trying it. Yeah. And then they're like, that's basically Fuck. how women are. Yeah. You're like, damn. And then you're like, I think I got it. And she's like, yeah, you got it. And then like two weeks go by, she's like, no, you don't got it anymore. And you're like, Fuck. yeah, I'm back at square one. Fuck, what do I do? No, women. I feel like it's it's hard to navigate women. But then, like, once you figure, once you get a girl, and then you learn her like routine or the way she operates or the way she reacts, then it's better a little bit. Because yeah. everyone's every girl is different. Yeah. I'm just saying, whatever. So where are you at right now in life? 
I you told doing? I talked about this last pod. That yeah, I but like, but like you said, that I but I don't married. think that's true. That I want to get married. Yeah, right now, no, you don't want that. I mean, right now, I don't want to get married. Right now, I want to get engaged. Maybe get oh. married in a year, have a child in three. That's really like in your mind. I'm not going to force anything. But like, if you if it was like a perfect world, that would it happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's so crazy. I can, so I can be a milf. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not why. I feel like you're not kidding. I'm not kidding. You're not kidding. <sighs> but oh. I do. I do want to do that. It's just weird. I feel like maybe people in LA are a little superficial. Yeah, I don't we like LA. People always talk about that. I don't know if it's. I think it's the influencer space. I think it's the influencer space and LA in general. Because New York, I felt like a little bit. I think it's the. I think it's just the influencer space. I don't know if it's LA. I think there's just a lot of influencers out here, and most of the people you interact with are probably in that space. Yeah. I don't think so much. It's just like LA specifically. It's just this f- industry. Yeah, I guess I don't interact with many people. I mean, I interact with my hometown friends. We go out sometimes, but I'm just mostly home interacting with my cats. I guess there's not much. Yeah, you're big cat lady. Big cat lady. I thought you and Steve were going to get cats. Yeah, I don't have one yet. Are you going to? I'm honestly looking at that several, several cat. Yeah. And like, it's just, it seems like it'd be a lot to get, which is fine. It costs a lot, whatever. But I think the maintenance is like, that thing eats like. Yeah. F- for real. Stop fidgeting, please. Okay, sorry. And I already got the big ass dog who eats for real too. Yeah. And I feel like they maybe they'll beef a little bit. I don't want them to beef. Oh, yeah. You got to get know? rid of the dogs. The, that would never happen. I would just never, ever happen. I would never live my life without a dog. I don't know how you, you live me. Your... No, like a dog dog. No. I don't know how you don't have a dog. Because I'm a cat person. Yeah, people that don't have dogs are kind of weird. That's not true. I'm sure a lot of the people watching this don't have dogs. They're weird then. No, you're not. Well, they're they're if they can't have a dog because like their living situation, but they want a dog and like I can't have it because it doesn't make sense, fine, you're not weird. But if you don't want a dog ever, it's like, come on. What's going on? Are mm. you like a serial killer? Me? Yes. I plead the fifth. Yeah. That's a thing for real. Oh my God. You're so scary, dude. <clears throat> I was going to actually... talk to you about something. What? About what? About how f- crazy you are? I'm not crazy. Ooh. I'm a little crazy. You're a little crazy. You're a little crazy. I am. You get aggressive. But I feel like I've grown up in the past few months. Yeah, I agree. Do you remember I, I used to? Well, it's because honestly, I think it was because the internet hurts your feelings a little bit. And then you're like, huh. And then your th- your skin got a little thicker. Yeah, I think my skin did get a little bit thicker. Also, because you, you, it seemed like you stopped dying a little bit too. Like your skin was getting a little thicker. I stopped what? Dieting a little bit. Like you were eating a little bit more. Like your skin got a little thicker. Are you calling me fat? No, I'm saying like it's just a, li- like a little puffier. You say I got fat? No, I'm saying like a little puffier because it was a little thicker because of so the pain. No, not because not of food, because of the pain. And you had to defend yourself. No. Bro, come on. Who else? Come on. Like, Who else what? Look at look at how these sleeves. We're literally on a podcast look and you're at, looking at yourself in the mirror back Look at there. how these sleeves like grip my biceps and you're over here calling me fat. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Let's see the abs. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm insecure. <laughs> I don't really I'm have. I'm kidding. I don't really have the abs. You're not actually fat. What do you want to talk about? Ask me a question. Ask me something good, dude. Okay. Because I always have good answers. And then sometimes I have really bad Wait, answers. I wrote some things down. Did you really write things down? Yeah, I always yeah. do. Oh, how do you? Th- how important do you think it is for a woman to know her worth? For a woman? Just a woman? Yeah. Or a man. Either or. Mm. Either or. Sorry. How important do you think it is for a man or a woman to know their worth? Damn. Well, I mean, I think that's probably one of the most important things for anyone. I agree. It's it's a problem though because I think some people don't like maybe sometimes they don't know their worth because they feel like they haven't done enough or they don't have enough. But it's like this, it's a external thing. They're like, I gotta have like money or I gotta have this like popularity or I gotta have something that makes me to myself feel appear, better. Feel feel better, feel validated, feel worth it. But it's interesting because a lot of times just actually not a lot of times, all the time, in order to have those things, you have to create the worth first. You have to know your worth, yeah. Right, otherwise, for example, like as a trainer, I remember when I was young, 20, and I was like training clients, I was like doing like $60 sessions, $50 sessions back in like 2011. That's really good. Yeah, and then and then at one point I was like, no, I'm worth $100 an hour, 
And I remember it's telling like all my clients, like, hey, I got to pay. This has to be my new rate because this is what I'm doing. And I know my worth because I've seen uh, the progress with other people that I've had. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, nah, no. Nah. And I lost like maybe five, 10 clients. But I had to say that like, yo, I, I'm not taking less than this because I know this is what my value is. Yeah. So I had to give up those 60, 70, even $80 clients that I was like, okay, I'm sticking to this. I'm holding to this, even though I wasn't making that money per hour prior to that moment. And then I remember I lost those clients and I kept and then I kept trying to find new clients. And then eventually I found the people who were willing to be like, yeah, this is worth it. Yeah. But it's like you have to at some point make that stand and be like, this is my. Now, if I had no value, which didn't know and wasn't really helping people and had no proof of concept, then it's like I couldn't stand on that. And I think that's where people have the issue. Like there's one thing to say, like, I have value. I am valuable. And then there's one thing to say, like, I have value. I'm valuable. Here's why. Yeah. You know, or like have something to show. Yeah. But at the same time, for a lot of things, you do have to kind of like hold that and hold yourself to the standard of, okay, I know that I have value, but it's all like in what lane are you adding it to, right? Like you have to know that you're worth something before you can be worth something. Yeah. You know? True. Like I think when I think about you and when you first started and you had like nothing, whatever followers you had, you 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 did also know though that based on maybe content you've seen or stuff you've watched that like you could do it. Obviously, I was telling you you could do it because I saw the value in it. And then eventually, I think you saw the value in, you, in yourself, and then you, like, hold yourself to it. Yeah, you know? I try to. Thank so you. I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough, though. Like, But as far as being able to say, okay, like to hold yourself to some sort of standard is to create that value, I think you, you know, it has to start there where, it's, where there's nothing. Yeah. I think everyone needs to, like, know their worth to some extent, or else if you don't, then everyone's going to either take advantage of you, walk all over you. Yeah, but if you're not worth then like... Then make yourself worth something. Yeah. So then, okay, for the people watching, they're trying to figure their self out, whatever. It's it's hard because we don't know exactly the lane they're in. Like, how do you think you, like, can say, okay, I know that I'm worth this? I think it comes down to finding something that you're somewhat passionate about. And if it's not something you're passionate about, find something, something that else. could... Something else. It doesn't even matter. It's like fake it until you make it. You know, whether that's you're trying to obtain money or you're trying to obtain happiness or you're trying to fall into a routine, whatever it may be. Just we were talking about this earlier. Pick something, give it three months. And then maybe either keep doing that same thing and switch it up or find something else. But you have to try something for at least three months, I think, to, you know, really know if it's for you or if it's not for you or what you can change after the three months to make it better. Yeah, I think most people's problem with, with with stuff in general and achieving stuff in general is they don't commit to something for long enough. Yeah. They expect like fitness, for example, someone will change a routine and do it for two weeks and be like, I'm not jacked yet or I haven't lost all this weight yet. And it's like yeah. the body doesn't work like that. Success doesn't work like that. Like you have to give something time to know if it's even making it a dent. And then once you've learned, okay, three months I did this, it either worked or it didn't work, then you know how to move forward. Like, okay, let me change this. You know what to change. And- yeah. You know what altercations to make going forward or... If it just really wasn't for you and you were like really down bad, then maybe you find something else. Else, yeah. So that I mean, that's that's <clears> yeah, <throat> that's a lesson in uh, value and, and yeah. self worth. That was a good question. Thank you. Wow, did you write that? Was that like you at home with the cat? Like no, I was driving here this morning, like to the gym, and I was thinking like how much I've grown even in the past three years. I used to always think that I knew my worth. But there was nothing that I was necessarily passionate about. There was nothing that, you know, I was striving for. I was just kind of following, like, the cookie-cutter process of, like, going to school and, like, coming home and then, like, eating, going to sleep. Like, nothing nothing was I really passionate about. Like, I cared about school, but not, not passionate, I guess. And I was thinking that, you know, I kind of le- would let people, like, walk all over me. I'd put up this front that I thought I knew my worth. And I'm still like in the process of trying to figure it out, but I think I've grown a lot in the past few years, even before like meeting you. So, what what prior to that you were just like pretending like you had worth? I think I'd pretend. What did you find? I remember like if I if I sensed that I got mistreated, I'd be like, no, like I'm leaving this situation. Like I know my worth. I didn't know my worth. I would just say like I, you know, like yeah, like I know my worth. Like I'm better than this, or I'm better than the situation, or I'm whatever. What are you most passionate about now? Right now? Yeah, because like to get closer to like, okay, that that feeling of like, okay, I know that I have worth in this. 
I don't know. I think working out has, it sounds so cliche, but I think working out is something that I'm so passionate about. Like spending quality time with my family is something that I'm so passionate about. Um, yeah, trying to add value to other people I'm passionate about. But working out definitely helped solidify everything for me. I was like, I didn't realize how insecure I was before I found the gym. I remember like looking at pictures now, sometimes I try to, I want to do like um, things on Instagram, like comparisons. And I'm like, damn, you can't even tell that I weighed a hundred pounds because I would cover my clothes, cover my body in baggy clothes. Like I did not own a single crop top until I like gained weight and like had abs. And it's the same thing, even if you're like fat and you're trying to lose weight or whatever, it's the same concept. You're still insecure. And then I don't know, the gym helped me become way more secure in myself, hence finding my worth. Yeah. Or coming closer to knowing my worth. I feel like the gym, it sounds so, <clears throat> yeah, cliche to say, but like the gym is the best thing ever for most people. I think if you're having trouble, I'm not saying go be a fucking fitness influencer per se. I'm just saying like use the gym for your own fucking mental space. Yeah. Like even talking to Fusi about this, like he's like, yo, the one thing that I do that made me feel like good. Was at, working out. Yeah, yeah. For the streaming stuff, like he's like, I know I just need to get back in this, this kind of motion. Um, and I think that's true for, anyone no matter what the fuck you do it doesn't have to be streaming or social media or whatever not even fitness shit. just like fuck, find something in the gym that you enjoy doing and challenge yourself because the physical challenge it, it translates to the mental like focus of yeah. okay i can overcome this it's putting yourself in an uncomfortable position that's where you'll grow you're not going to grow by sitting at home all day doing nothing you have to put yourself in those uncomfortable positions to become stronger mentally, physically, whatever it so is. So why do you think people <clears throat> um, choose not to put themselves in a comfortable position, even though they know the outcome is, like, what they want? The same reason I did it for 20 years, because you get so, like, comfortable. You get so comfortable with the same, like, routine or whatever it is, and you think you're happy, but you're not. Or you might know that you're not happy, but you don't want to make a change. So, but, like... I understand that because I know there's there's definitely moments for me too where I'll be like, okay, I really want to do this, but I'm not doing it yet. But overall, I just feel like it doesn't make sense to not try those things, especially when you're younger. It's like, what else are you doing with your time? Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe playing. Maybe kids are playing video games, or they have family obligations, or they're hanging out with friends, or doing things that kind of gives um, that immediate like satisfaction but then you're just masking your time you're yeah, masking yeah. your time with something else that you're you're justifying your mind oh i'm doing this so i'm not trying to get better at this or this these things that i actually care about i don't understand why people do that because i couldn't do it now because it's easy i mean i do that some a lot of times with a lot of things that's what i do i'm sure you do it too but it's just the easy way it's the comfortable way but it's good to break that routine guys i feel like you you, you don't have a choice, like, especially in your younger years. Like, if you don't break that routine, then, like, you just, you'll build, like, a strong dependency on a bullshit routine that you know you don't like, and it's going to be so much harder to get out of. Yeah, true. Which is just, like, sad, ultimately, I feel. Wow, this took a really... What? We got deep. We, I mean, we usually we had, don't get this But deep. we had to talk about we it. We had to talk about it. It's Do you important. think we were yapping? Yeah, you know, the kick chat would say we're yapping. Okay. But I, but we're not on kick right now. We're on this is we're a on podcast. YouTube, yeah. We're on YouTube. This is important. Yeah, this is important. Because, like, there are times, there are for sure times, too, even still, where I'll be like, damn, I'm not doing enough, and I'm, like, falling into this, or I'm, like, spending time playing video games. But then I'm like, oh, but I'm also streaming. And, like, so. Yeah, you kind of justify it. I know. Yeah. I'd be scrolling on TikTok for hours, and I'm like, it's work. I'm getting content ideas. And are you? No, but I just say that to make myself feel better. God. There's no right way. There's no right way. Yeah. That's okay, though. But you got to find a way that works for you. Yeah. Damn, we did get deep. That's crazy. That's crazy. I love Yo. it. I love it. <laughs> okay. Why Anyways. are you so mean to me? I'm not mean to you. Off yeah. camera, though, you kind of are. Off, ca off camera, I'm even nicer to you. Are you? You're like, tell that mother. You do not. You do not call or text me to check up on me. I call and text to check up on you. And this is something that I kind of do have an issue with you because I know we're business partners. I love this. Go, but like, go, I go. feel like we have a friendship as well. Yeah. But it's a one-sided friendship where I check in on you, text you, call you, make sure you're good. But it doesn't really go the other way around. That's what I mean. Like, I have like, problems. Saying like, oh, I like your hair. Like, 
it's not that like you know if you saw the picture on my snapchat which you clearly did i didn't see the snapchat i didn't <clears> see it i'd just swipe up and be like oh looks nice or like nice cut because like if you get a cut and i see a picture you post i'd be like oh nice cut like is it a nice cut probably not but am i being nice i mean you yeah. wouldn't see the cut huh you know, i get the cut i just put the hat on you put the you know what i'm saying put the rock your hat on I'm like i don't need another cut cut i literally get haircuts and i'm like that's not the point of the story I know I was diverting the yeah. attention. <laughs> the point of this is that this is a one-sided friendship. It's not true. Though. It's a one-sided business too. How? What are you talking about? One. Where's my money? But dude, I don't even have the money yet. Let me check. Actually, hold on, hold on. Look, hold on. Actually, Bruh. live on camera. Hold on. I'm gonna check the bank account. I have not been paid. I have not. Bro, been... I haven't been paid either. Jacob hasn't been paid. No one's paid. Hold on, look, let me Yeah, check. but it's all under your control. That's what you're not getting. If you would have let me have control of it in the first place, I would no, have had it handled. It's not all That's under what my, you're not getting. It's not all under my control. Look. This is gonna I'm piss, so tired of this inadequacy. This is going to piss you off. Inadequ what is it? Let me see. <laughs> Zero. What the it's, it's, it's getting transferred. It's you make getting, me sick. It's getting transferred. I've had this issue with you since Vegas. Dude. Since that clip that went stop. viral. Stop. It's not And we're real. about to do it's it again. Real. It's not It's real. about to be real. It's not real, dude. Stop it. Jesus Christ, Sarah Safari. Mm -hmm. It's not real. Yo, you <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, it's not real. Jacob Taylor, it's not real. You know what's not real? There's what? no... You know what is real is that there's zero cents, zero dollars Nine in cents. that account. Nine cents. Because that was a verification for Google. You want to split it? The nine cents? How are we going to split it? I don't know. Three ways? Three cents you. each? Three cents each, dude. What's up? What's good? Car payment. Yeah. One and four, four. Fine. Send it. This is about to be just mommy podcast. Dude, could you do it? Yes. Go ahead. Try. Hey, guys. What's up? Sarah Safari here. Um, <laughs> today, actually, I'm going to talk shit about Bradley Martin. <laughs> that would be... Do it. Do it. Go, go, go. Do it. Um, he is a uh, fake ass friend. He's an, <laughs> come he is, on. Shut up. I'm talking. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm not here. He's yeah. an employer that does not pay me. <laughs> so why. all those rumors you've probably seen on the internet, believe them all. It doesn't that's, matter. Yeah. That's why you're here. You no, I love you. No, no. Can you run a pod by yourself? No, I couldn't. Obviously I yeah. couldn't. It's, it's, yeah, it's honestly, it's tough. It's hard. It's hard. It's yeah. Tough. And you, I don't, I don't like like trying to hit people up. Like, come on my pod. I don't like that. Yeah, I would that, not want to do the, that. That is the worst part. Yeah. Because you're just scheduling this shit show. I was thinking about doing solo, like, just, like, reactionary stuff to, like, um, and we talked about this in the past for, for Raw Talk where I was just going to, like, answer crowd questions, basically. Yeah. Like, I was going to start doing crowd work. Like Matt Reif? Yeah, and uh, I want to I want to go see Matt Reif. Matt's supposed to come on the pod. He's funny. He's funny. He's funny. He's Can I it. come when he comes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, you weirdo i just want to meet him he's funny he, he does great crowd work what about andrew schultz he's supposed to come in the pod too that mother fucker i did his pod you andrew not nah, this but kind of kind of a little bit because a little bit. i came to do his pod like a hundred years ago like probably a year and a half ago i remember and he's like i got you when i'm in la guess what so it wasn't bad you know what's funny that you brought him up when I was in New York City, I took an Uber, and the guy from the Uber said he loves our podcast. That's the first of all the best compliment. If someone tells me they like our podcast, amazing, I love it. I get so happy. Yeah. But he was like, "I love the podcast with you and Bradley." And I was like, "Yeah, my podcast. Brad's my smaller co-host, whatever." <laughs> and he was like, "It's crazy. Like I picked you up like a few months ago. I picked up Andrew Schultz. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's so cool." Andrew, uh, you. Mother, f no, he's Andrew. Fine. Please come and be on Brad's podcast because he gets really, really sad. I'm sad, dude. It's honestly making me sad at this point. I'm actually really sad, super sad. It's depressing. I'm like, what is it, dude? What do I got to do? Do I got to buy views? <clears throat> should I start buying views? No, you don't need to do that. Mm. You don't need to do that. I feel like that's what I should start doing. No, I always think it's a person can tell. I'm telling you, if you if you know social media, you know analytics. A person can always tell if you've bought followers, if you've bought likes, if you've bought views. Yeah. You can always tell by the ratio, okay? If you see an Instagram person, you know, you got 6 million, 7 million, and then you're getting like 80 what about, comments. But what about the people who buy comments and buy Dude, there's like, it's deep. And also a streaming bought views, all that kind of shit. Really? Yeah, that's What streamers thing. have bought views? I don't know. That's a thing. Tell that's me. Like a real, I don't know. Off camera? Yeah, tell me. I can't tell you. How was it with your mom? Your mom was here this week. 
My mom is the best thing ever. Um, she's the sweetest woman in the world. What'd you do with her? Um, we spent a lot of we. She likes watching movies. You guys watch a lot of movies. So we Netflix and chill. Me and my mom. Is that weird? We do though. It's not like we're chill. It's not that Netflix and chill. It's like Netflix and chill. Like you know, saying Netflix and chill has that stigma of oh, you come over, we put on Netflix. Netflix isn't actually like we're not watching it. We're just like doing inappropriate no, things. No, but we were and watching that's, it. That's the exact stigma that you okay. just used with you and your mother. Me and my mom were watching Netflix together because okay. she likes to watch movies. Yes. You guys are sickos if you think otherwise. So, um, but she comes to the gym. She checks it out. She meets everyone. Um, you didn't tell me to pull up. Which is weird because I thought she really liked me when I met her last time. I should I should have told you to pull up. I didn't uh, I didn't know. Yeah. I thought you were like in New York or like I wasn't. I wasn't because you uh, know I was here last week up until this were week. Were you really? Yep. I thought maybe you were in Vegas. No. Gambling or something. Mm-mm. Doing a fucking yeah, that's underdog fine. ad. Or- Hi, Mrs. Martin. I hope you're doing well. No, she well. loves you. She thinks you're really sweet. Thank she you. She also loves Steve. But Good. she was mad at Steve because Steve made the dad joke. I know. She was mad about that. Also, speaking of your mother, I saw that you asked her, is it pink? Okay, hold on. Let me let me clarify. Let me clarify. This is getting really out of hand. This is insane. Yeah. First you say Netflix and chill, <sighs> and then you ask her, is we it pink? We did watch Netflix and chill, but we didn't. It wasn't like the connotation of the internet, okay? okay. Jesus f-ing, f-ing hell. Okay. But I was streaming, and it was the end of the stream, and I was reacting to stuff. I was watching Steve's stream. It was funny. Um... And then my mom comes in because she was like, I think she got groceries or she was like swimming Aww, or something. Yeah. Um, she likes she swims like every day. Anyways, um, she comes in and I was like, oh, cool. Well, let's react to stuff together on my little Twitter community. Right. Yeah. And these guys are so sweet. As you know, how sweet and kind they are. Yeah. The kick viewers Amazing. are very c- nice. Wait, so I'm they, confused. Were you on Twitch or were you on kick? I was streaming on kick desktop stream. My mom comes in and I'm looking at. The, uh, Twitch Twitter, server. Twitter. Oh, Twitter. So I'm on Twitter and I'm X, X, sorry, oh, okay. X. I'm looking at the community and I said, drop some stuff so that we can react to. Mm-hmm. And of course they uh, were so kind and they posted pics that we could react to. That was super nice of them. And then they were asking my mom, is it pink? So I asked her, is it pink? And it was more so, and I was like, yo, they're talking about the, your favorite flavor of like Starburst. Like what color is your favorite flavor? That's like, that's, yeah. I was like, you know, I was trying to protect the audience. Right. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I saw and that. She clip. said it was blue. Yeah, I know. I was Which I isn't a flavor. That. It's okay. Maybe she went like blue raspberry. She was thinking about some she's probably Skittles. thinking about like a blue candy. Or, yeah. Like the Jolly yeah. Rancher or something. Yeah. But anyways, the communities you know, they're just so kind. Yeah. They're very sweet. Yeah. They're not inappropriate at all. Yeah, they're really wholesome. Nothing but love. But you should you're supposed to box Aiden. Oh yeah. Didn't he agree to that? Yeah, but then I think I went up to him. He found a new love interest. I told you this, didn't I? Didn't we talk about this? That yeah. I saw him in High Limits. I went up to him and I was like, yo, when are we sparring? And he was like down a load of money. And he was like, honestly, Sarah, like, please don't talk to me right now. Like, don't talk to me. <laughs> he was like, I'm down a lot of money. Like, don't, don't talk to me. Bro, I, I feel <clears> And that. then I was like, oh, fuck. And then I walked out. How much? He must have been down a lot. I think he was down half a mil or something. Oh, I don't know. My God. It was a lot of money. <clears throat> That is. I thought I told you about that. No, that sucks. Yeah. He's good though. He's chilling. Yeah. You should fight him though. I'm down. That'd be sick. God, I keep wanting <laughs> this. I, I honestly, I want you to fight someone. Thank I want you. you to fight someone so bad. Why? Why do I want that? I don't know. Maybe you want to see my downfall. No, I don't think it'd be a downfall. See, I know you thought I had it in me. I want to fight someone too. Ladies, hit me up. Who could you? I know we've talked about this before, <laughs> but like, maybe just maybe we'll just talk. We'll talk about it off camera. Because I, I actually can, do really want to know. Yeah. I'd be what down. about like Brecky Hill? I kind of want you to fight her. I feel like she could she could piece me up. How? Maybe not. Should I fight her? Brecky, you down? Brecky, you should fight Brecky. I think it'd be good. I have to know how much she weighs. Not enough to fight you. She weighs less than me? Probably. Yeah. She looks like she weighs less than you. Yeah. But Giot, you know? But what? Giat. So like, like what? maybe Giat. Giat. Like maybe. <laughs> Sorry, that's something in my throat. But maybe like maybe we weigh around the same <clears throat> Giat. <clears throat> Giat. Giat. <laughs> like what? What? Is isn't that? Isn't, does she? Pretty sure she does. I thought she was like. The, uh, I thought it was like up here thing. 
Oh, I didn't know they said "gyat" about that. Oh, maybe it was maybe it's double "gyat." I don't know. I thought they just said it about. You're saying that adds weight. She's gonna hit you like <laughs> bang bang. She's gonna f- maybe she's sh- It's like a shoulder checking contest. She might get you. You know, you don't got enough <laughs> weight up there. That's crazy. It is a little crazy. No, she probably does weigh less than me. So fight Brecky Hill. Nick wants to call me. Call him. Are we going tomorrow? Damn it, we have to go to that. 100% I have to go to that. Why do you have to go to that? Because I he, he came on the pod last minute. I'm just confused on why I've asked you a thousand times, do you want to go together and you don't want to go together? What do you mean? Well, because like it's a, it's a, it's like a, isn't it like a date thing? Then who are you taking? No one. I'm just, I'm showing up. Be yeah, like, but my thing is you and I can pull up together as friends, not dates. Oh yeah, fine. Whatever. That's what, that's what Say I Say you want me to go with I, you. Sorry, I told, I want, I would never want to go unless you're going there with me. I would love, oh wait, hold on, hold on. We learned this earlier. I would love if you would accompany me there. <sighs> It'd be amazing. I honestly, thought you'd never ask. Honestly, it would not be enjoyable if I went there by myself without you. Oh, you are learning. <laughs> Yo, girls you're, are insane. You're so dude. good. Oh my god. Okay, I'll go. Girls with you. are insane. Stop begging. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> dude, girls I'll go. are fucking crazy. Dude. Should we? Are you actually want to go together? <sighs> like actually, I'll meet you there. Fucking shit. What is that? Not is that not good enough? No. Do we got to drive together? Yes. What the. You're not you fill up my gas tank? Are you not allowed to be alone in the Can car? Can you fill with up me my gas something? tank? Can you fill up my gas tank? Uh, sure. Will you really? Yes, bro. I've done it before. No, you haven't. Yes, I have in your truck. Filled truck. my gas tank yep. up? When? Well, I mean, with your card. Hey. I just filled it. That's right. I was busy. Hi, Nick. Um, what are you up to? Brad and I are doing a podcast. We're on a podcast. Dude, we just, uh, dude. Brad? It's plug hey, talk. Thanks for not texting me back. What? Uh, you calling me back. You didn't call me back. Me? You know what, Brad? This isn't uh, this isn't about you and me. Uh, Sarah, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Wait, are you you're single now and you're trying to riz me? No. Okay, I'm not trying to riz you. What do you? I mean, like, how are you? How have you been? I've been good. Dude, it sounds like you're trying to riz her right now. I'm being honest. Yeah, it's like one of those. It's one of those friendships, like you know, when like one of your friends gets in a relationship, so you don't talk to them for the duration of the relationship, and then they become single and they come back <laughs> into your life. This feels like that. <laughs> Wow. Maybe you two should bring me on the podcast and we can, we can talk about everything between you and me and this friendship. <laughs> Dude, you want to come on? Where are you right now? Come Where on right you? now. I met Sue. I was hoping to bump into Sarah too. Oh, wow. Hump, hoping to bump into me. What do you like bump in how? Like shoulder checker? No. Like, or like a hip bump? Like a hip bump? No, no. Like, hey, it's good to see you. It's been a while. How you been? Thank you. That's boring. Uh, Brad, you know. Dude, come to the Stop. come to the studio. Come, come here right now. Okay, send me a location. I'll come there right now. What is he going to ask you? I don't know. Yesterday, him and I talked on the phone. What the f*** is happening? We talked on the phone because he was trying to explain to me um, the Friendsgiving tomorrow. Oh. And I told him, I was like, bro, you know I'm not trying to be anyone's like date on camera anymore. Like, I'm tired yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah, you got to. You I was s- like, I'm tired of that narrative. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, no, like, just come like as my friend. And I was like, okay, but you need to solidify that. Like, this is my homie. Yeah, you've had problems with that. I've had problems. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, please solidify, like, this is my homie. Like, there's nothing else because the audience is going to perceive it as like, oh, like, new girl, Nick's new girl or whatever. Yeah. It's, it is really crazy how that, like, works. Like, why can't we just fucking make content? Yeah. And it's all jokes. It's all like reality TV. And like, Nick knows that and I know that and you know that. Jacob knows that. But I'm saying, like, to the audience, it gets clipped up and it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. So that's what I told him. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. Like, I'll solidify that we're homies. So I really don't know what he's about to pull up and ask me. Well, I'm excited. So would you? Would I? No. Okay. I would know. you? Nick? Yeah. Oh, Nick's a handsome guy. No, I, yes, he's. He's got a nice mustache. He's, he's handsome. But like, just because someone's handsome doesn't mean that like you sleep with them. I didn't, I wasn't talking about sleep with him. What oh. the oh. fuck? Whoa, oh. what the what fuck the... are you talking about? Oh, would I date him? Yeah, motherfucker. What? Oh, just, no. I didn't say we're just f***ing people. Oh, I don't know. You made it seem like I just what did that. F- no, no. Like, no, no. I don't think I'd date him either. I feel like you, dude. You need a. F-ing, you need like a blue collar man. Yeah, that can like someone told me this once. It was um, Beta from Snapchat. She was like, "I don't want a guy that has a membership to Soho House. I need a man that can build me a damn house." 
Damn, Vita's dope. <laughs> yeah, I was like, bars. Oh, that's dope. I was like, that is how I feel. God. For you guys that don't know what Soho House is, what is Soho oh, House? It's a bougie It's like ass, a bougie like, thing in Malibu. You got to have club. a membership to be able to go there. It's like a yearly membership. Yes. My <laughs> news on like the 12th. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like that joke. <laughs> That was uh, good. I don't actually have a membership I know. there. I am a loser. No, you're not a loser. But like it's like, I don't want a man that has a membership there. I need one that can build me a house. Yeah. But do you... Like actually, a handyman. Like the other day, I was like trying so hard to change this light bulb. It wasn't a regular light bulb. It was like one of those four pin ones. It wasn't one of the ones you screw in. You have to like get a tool and like pop it out and then put a new one in. And like there's no man in the house. It's like my mom and I, right? Yeah. My brother's in San Diego. So it's like, who the... F gonna do it me that's five three and or her that's five foot tall like neither we'll get a ladder. five five yeah i know but then i don't have the tool to pop the light bulb out mm. it's I like can help i can come help if you want help for real no i feel weird asking you to do things like that why i don't know I just, you like, don't live super far i know but then also like sometimes like one time i remember i needed a truck and like you're my only friend with a truck and i was like I can't ask Bradley like that. Just don't ever ask me. To pick me up from LAX. I yes. know, I know, I know. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that's an established thing. But I'd pick you up from LAX. Well, that's different, though. Yeah, you put me on. It's different. Yeah. I'd be like, I really need a ride. I'm excited whatever Nick's going to come say. I'm actually excited. <coughs> new love interest? Do I? No. Yeah. Any new ones? Um, No, I don't have any love interests, and I'm way better single. I realize that because I, I'm very emotional, and I get a little consumed with people. Like the idea of people, not even just the person. Oh, I get it. That's interesting. And then like I have I think everyone's like this though. Everyone has these expectations in your head. And then when a person, a friend, a relationship, whatever, does not meet those expectations, you're let down and then you beat yourself up or you're sad about it because they don't meet those expectations. And it's like my expectations are not that high. They're the bare minimum. I mean not the bare minimum, mm. but like they're pretty close to like not being anything. Mm. Like, you know, maybe calling me once a day. I feel like, like, I feel like all girls say stuff like that, but then that's never enough. No, one call would be f perfect. I haven't gotten one. I, that's not the point. That's not the point. That's not the point. I'm fine. I'm not upset. I'm just saying like. <laughs> this is hilarious I'm watching this like, happen in real time. <laughs> real no, time. Is so good. then it's like, for me, it's little things like that. And then I write someone off. I'm like, nope, done. Dude. Because it's like if we're not seeing each other in person, you can't even like call me once a day. Yeah. Like two minute conversation, just like, hey, thinking of you, bye. I guess it is simple. And then like, sometimes it's, that's you're not seeing me, okay? We're not like it's like very early stages. We don't hang out anything. It's just like very simple tasks. I think very simple. One call, five minutes tops. So there is someone. No, there's not someone. Everything just, you're saying makes it sound like there's someone. No, not anymore. That's what I'm saying. I write people off. You just wrote them yeah, off. Yeah, wrote them off. Damn. You're damn, you're kind of like a demon. Yeah, I'm on my demon time. Wow. So they just got to contact you like, yo, hey, what's good? Not contact me, but like. Like, where's my extravagant bouquet of flowers? No, no, no I don't bed? want a bouquet of flowers. Like flowers to the. No, to the, ew, no. Like petals on the ground. And yeah, shit. yeah, petals no. and shit. I don't want any of that. No, no. You, I'd rather actually not even see like the person. Like a trip to the Maldives. I'd rather even not see the person like. Face to face, like more of just like Dude. we chat here and there. <laughs> you want a long term, <laughs> you want a long, long term, you want a long distance relationship. So I don't have to like see you. You have problems. I know. You do. <laughs> you do, dude. It's pretty funny. <laughs> By the way, guys, discord.gg slash raw gear. You guys go to the, the podcast QA section. Mommy, that, oh, there's, there's more. No, but to answer your question, I'm single and I think I'll always be single. It's weird because I feel well, like you're a I cat person. I'm a cat person, you're yeah, but I feel like I can't get out of that. Like, you know, like before or like maybe it's pre talking stage, like right before the talking stage. Because, like, talking. Wait, 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 wait. Go like, ahead. You know, like once you're just like getting to know someone to see if like you'll make it to the talking stage or like the dating stage. Yeah. Well, okay. This is, this is good. Before you get into the rest of what you were saying, how do you get out of the talk? Like, how do you know? Like, you're like, I'm going out of the, like, we're moving past the talking stage. I think when you establish your exclusive, you're out of the talking stage. If you're exclusive with one another, then you're, like, you're dating. I mean, I don't know, right? Is that how it works? 
Well, I'm, I'm not asking, the best person to ask. No, I'm asking your perspective. Like, how do you know when you're moving out of the talking oh, stage? Oh, I always thought the whole, like, will you be my girlfriend shit is cliche. Like, that's so cliche. I don't know. I think if you guys are both, de- like, devoting time to one another, you're exclusively together, like, you're not seeing other people. Yeah. <clears throat> then you're dating. Right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think so. Then when do you know you're, like, not? How do you know? How do you know? Not when you're not dating, but how do you know when you're like, okay, this is 100%. I'm not going to keep going down this road. Just because they don't hit you up for a day? <laughs> that sounds crazy. Oh, my God. It does sound crazy. I'm, I'm just asking you. But then there's, like, other things. Like, if two days go by, you're like, fuck this. No, it's... For me, it's not the issue of, like, days going by. It's, like, <clears throat> maybe you're right. Maybe it's the expectation that, like, in the beginning, you know, you guys were talking more, whatever, communicating more, and then all of a sudden it starts to dwindle down. I'm like, oh, you're uninterested. Yeah. That's where my mind goes. It's not like, oh, from the beginning, you guys would lag on each other for days on end. Then it's like, okay, you know that that's the expectation, whatever. But if you guys were, like, talking a bunch and then it starts to dwindle down. Yeah, like the love bomb shit. <clears throat> yes love bomb yeah that's a real thing yo this is all oh, i was spent oh i want to talk to you and then it's like Phew. yo because the bomb went Phew. yeah i think that's what happened so you get love bombed i think i get love bombed a lot a lot actually. do you think you love bomb people though no <laughs> women women nah, are probably... funny you probably do it too bro shut up all right all you right, love I'll bomb say, me you. I, ain't love bomb, you <laughs> I fucking content bombed you <laughs> you did that's what i meant yeah um, would you guys be interested? In <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm just gonna, you know, maybe get another cat to occupy some more of my time, and maybe. Damn, that sounds sad. Brad, you and Sarah obviously have really good chemistry. Do you think chemistry always comes naturally, or can it be taught slash developed over time? You can grow to love someone. I swear by it. Well, chemistry doesn't necessarily mean love, right? No, but you can grow to have chemistry with someone too. The more you hang out with someone better the vibes the yeah. more you can adapt to that person and pick up on their jokes or pick up on their interests or whatever did we talk this question last time no it's brand new oh yeah it's brand new. yeah i think i think we do have really good chemistry yeah, but I, you and I, I i feel like yeah but i think chemistry i think you just have it or you don't i honestly believe that i think yeah of course you if we're talking about like dating someone then it's like yeah you can get to know someone's like details like what they what they like what they don't like you can like kind of make moves based on that but i think overall chemistry that people have like you either have it like straight away or you don't i really believe that yeah i don't think you can just be like yeah let's force chemistry yeah that's true i think you can i think you can learn people over time and then then like the vibes might be better but like chemistry is something that i feel like two people just have wherever they're at this is the deal right wherever you're at wherever that person's at in life like if the things that you guys are both doing or both have been through like can equate to the vibes being good, that's what someone would go, oh, the chemistry is good. It's just based on where that person's at, where they're at. Now, now, could you grow like five years and then meet that same person again in five years and be like, oh, wait, it's actually now different? Yeah. Of course. But I think chemistry is just largely dependent on where someone's at in their life. Hmm. Like so what you think, matters like, to them, what doesn't matter. You think that first initial meeting someone and how the chemistry goes is really important? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think like that's a, a strong now can it shift and change over time? Like I said, the same way that like, you know, maybe I start thinking that like this is more important in my life and I focus on that. And then maybe that's more aligned with like where you're at, then maybe our chemistry might feel better because you're more on that page. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like where two people meet at whatever point, like whether it's five <laughs> years apart or ten years apart, whatever, it's like you meet and you're like, Okay, these this relationship makes sense in whatever way. That was that's a chemistry, right? Yeah. So, I have a question, Bradley. Yeah, go ahead. Do you think long distance relationships work? I think it depends on what the person does for a living. Straight up. Oh. Because because like it and also someone's ability to accept that they may not have like for example, let's say I'm the kind of person where I couldn't be in a long distance relationship because I know that I require um quality time. I know that I require like spending time and like cuddling and all that like Oh, you know, shit. you know what I'm saying? You don't like cuddling. I don't. I don't care for that stuff. No. But like, so if you don't have that, if like that's something that makes you feel like appreciated or like loved or taken care of, like yeah. in certain ways. Because like, I'm the kind of person I don't need a ton of shit. like I don't need things. I just need like time. Yeah. Right. 
So someone else might be like, well, I need things or a girl might feel like she needs this or that. And like, as long as those things are being met, then a long distance relationship could work. Right. Yeah. It's just like, what do you really need? For me, I know that like, I'd be like, eh, I'm not so into something that's so far away. Cause I know that I, I like, I would like to have my person around with me. Yes. Because you're like, you know, like love language, like your love language, I think it's like physical touch or like quality time or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Mine is words of affirmation. It yeah, doesn't so matter do if you're doing away. that over the phone or like on exactly. FaceTime or like in person. Mine's just like talking to me. Yeah. So that's why everyone, I think everyone should read that book like about love languages yeah and you can take a little test guys search like um what's my love language or love language test or whatever because these are real things these yeah. are generally real things that like you if you recognize within yourself then you'll know more of what you need or like maybe why things aren't working because you're going okay i'm not getting that another thing that people run into a problem with that love language is that they go like oh because i need love this way that the other person needs love the same way and that's that's not why people thing. get a lot yeah. of issues because they go yeah. oh this is what makes me happy so they give it and then they don't give the other things that the other person feels like they need because they're only looking at what they need. Yeah. Because I think if I was in a relationship, I don't care if I didn't see him for two months. That's crazy. I just Fun. would want to talk to them via phone call or text message or Well, Snapchat. that's also because I think you're a little asexual too. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like, you're just, you just want to connection. Because like, I'm good. Like being at home, being on my own grind, seeing my family doing work, all good. And then we just chit chat throughout the, throughout the day. Love that. Damn. I don't, I don't have to see you ever. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> if you're looking for a long distance relationship. No, but like, I also like seeing you, but I'm saying like, I'm okay with not. But I don't got to see your ass. Though. I don't got to see your ass. That's funny. Brad. Hello. It's so good to see you. What's going on, man? Yeah, get in. Yeah, yeah, get in. Yeah, yeah. You have to sit on Brad's lap. Oh, wait, wait. We uh, can't, we can't. Oh, hand him that mic. Grab that mic off the table. What is this pod called? What the fuck? Oh. Mommy and daddy, mommy. I see it, I see it on what? TikTok. All, sorry, don't act sorry. like you don't know what this is. Oh, I see it all the time. I yeah, see what the fuck? Drama so, so pod. What did you want to say to her? Yeah, you said you had something to ask well, me. Well, I, I just, you know, I was saying, like, it's been a while since we've talked. Talk. Yeah. Um, Brad is coming to our Friendsgiving this week, Wednesday. I was wondering if you'd want to come and be my date. Wow. Wow. Um, wow. I'm honored. Um... I don't date. All right, I saw that. Like, what, what does that mean? You don't get feelings or? No, I just, I, mm, I'm not. Does that make you nervous? What? No, you don't make me nervous at all. No. I didn't say me. I mean, I at one point, like, maybe. Question. Oh. You did that okay. one time. Okay. Way back when. Right. No, you don't make me nervous. I just don't date. Like, I'll go with you as your friend. Like, I'd love to accompany you as your friend. Okay. Like, think, as your homie, you know? I'm going to tell you this. I'm not in a place to date. I'm not. <laughs> he did the Uno reverse on you. Put the mic closer. He did the oh, Uno reverse, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm not in a place to date. Perfect. Uh, that was a good Uno. I'm, I'm mentally. Wow. Uh, thank you, Brad. I'm mentally good. not there. Just to tell you, you did ask me to go as your date. So maybe you should clarify next time when stating a question. I wow. do want you to come as my date. Whoa. Uno but reverse, reverse. <laughs> the double reverse is getting insane. But you just said Holy you don't shit. date. Maybe... <laughs> like, please elaborate. I think, uh, you know, mentally, what are you doing right now? You want to remember this? Yeah, I want to remember this moment. Snapchat this moment. Um, oh, man, you know, mentally, I'm in a, in a tough place, you know, a little bit. But there's always been, you know, one person who's always been there for me as a friend, supportive. Uh, what's the video we did together? We had a lot of people like, whoa, they have a lot of chemistry on camera. On brother and camera. sister Bro vibes, brother right? Brother and sister vibes. Brother yes. and sister vibes. Um, so if I was going to bring a date and I had to bring a date to something, someone could be a dance, a ball, it could be a get together. In this case, it's Friendsgiving. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing you. Thank you. Like as your sister. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Called that. Yeah, of course. Like yeah. as your homie slash sister, I would love to accompany you. Whatever you want it to be. That's fine. But like. Oh, you would love, so you love, you would love to come? As your like friend. But, but Clarification on friend. I want to be friends too. I'm not. In a, I just said I'm not in a place. I think to, you have to be friends to have a good relationship, Brad. You know what I'm saying in general. I'm just saying in yeah. in general. Yeah, it's funny you bring that up, but yes, that's you true. And I think it's an important yeah. thing. A lot of people say it's good to start as friends and then go into something more serious. Yeah, yeah, they do. I just know I could never, you know, also live up to your last girlfriend. I wonder if you're gonna run into that problem. I actually it made me really think that for a second. Yeah. In what, in what way? What do you guys mean? What do you guys mean? He's like, I'm f***ed up to get back together. <laughs> no, I don't know what you guys mean. What do you guys mean? Like, how are you gonna find someone that? 
Like that might intimidate other women. Other girls. That like, performs actually, I'm better. Not even like, you know? Okay. Performs better. I never thought of that until oh. she said that right now. Yeah. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Like I couldn't I could I, I could I could see where you guys I'm gonna go like this every time. I could see where you guys are coming from, but I, I'm not I'm not worried. Like I think I think it's gonna be fine. But I do see where you guys are coming from. That's I think you'll end up with her. And honestly, if I'm coming to a friend's giving at your house with her, I'm not trying to like make issues with Sky. Okay, wow, this is gonna be interesting. Holy shit. You know, because I <laughs> you're gonna be there too. I, yeah, met, I, I met her once. I really liked her. She I'm went there. on stream and she was like, Oh, Sarah Safari, I like her. You know, we're cool. She's dope. She likes my pictures on Instagram. I like her pictures on Instagram. And you, you also now, like my pictures on Instagram. Nowadays, you would. You don't post it. <laughs> you like that, Alex? I right. like every picture on Instagram. I don't like any pictures on Instagram. You yes, like, you do. That, you like anyone's but mine. That's not true. You comment on mine every once in a while. You usually just say, LOL. Yeah, every, yeah, every yeah. Time. Yeah, I thought the LOL was in there. <laughs> yeah. You have funny shit sometimes. Okay. Thank okay. You, yeah. Can you guys not? What? Sorry. Like, seriously? What's going, What's going on? on? Oh, sorry. This is you and him thing. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. So, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'll accompany you as your friend. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, create you're any playing issues. hard to get. Like, you can just say, like, I'll come. Great. We'll have a good time. We'll be friends. I'm not going to make any moves. It's going to be. You're not going to try to kiss me? Hell no. What the fuck? I'm offended. Why, why, why are you offended? <laughs> what do you mean? Why do you have to say it like, fuck no? I'm getting over a relationship right now, Sarah. Okay, I'm good. A, I'm going to deep. Okay, okay just, good. I was just. Let's just start out as friends. I'm glad. And, and end as friends too. Perfect. That's what you want. Okay. Thank you. This was so respectful. I'm very respectful. That's amazing. Yeah. This is a good quality in a guy. Thank respectful thank, is thank a you, good. Brad. I appreciate yeah, that. Who are you trying to wingman? No, I'm just saying that's a good quality. Wait, for why, why does it need to be a wingman if there's just friends? No, it's also a good quality for a girl as well. Same thing. Yeah. She's very respectful. Very, very yeah. respectful. Because they're like super relate. Like it's like similar. Yeah. Like her brother game. and sister. Like you could have grown up together. Yes. That's we what go, I'm saying. We go back. It kind of feels that way every time we see each other. Yeah, it does. <laughs> How's mom? How's dad? Yeah. They love you. They would love for you to come over for dinner. Right. Dinner date. Oh, friends giving. Wait. Friends, Friendsgiving. 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 Emphasis on friends. Is there going to be food there? That's actually the only thing I'm you really... You fat... Are you taking a date? No, I'm going there solo. Okay, solo. there is something I do want to bring up. This is the perfect time. This is a perfect time, everybody. I, um, I told her no already. Who? Sky said, I'm only going to go and be... I'll be and I'll eat food. I told her she no. She hit you up before I did? She. You were going to invite me too? Wait, I, I thought I was the one who invited you. Yeah. Are you no. Sky's date? I said I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I said okay, I'm good. You, I'll be there you, though. You, <laughs> she did say she did say she is bringing a date. I know it's not you, but oh really? Yeah, she is bringing a date. Yeah, because I said no. Oh yeah. my god! So I have to like, what do I wear? Wait, she really is bringing a date? Yeah. <laughs> You're lying though. No, I'm not. No, who is it though? I don't know. You have to. Know. I don't know. You're trolling Apparently, me now. it's someone who lives in California, who's from her hometown, and they've always been like cool. You're lying. I'm. I'm not. Have they like done it before? No. 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 How do you know? Well, we've always been cool. She told me. I was like, like wait, there's like a dude before. from your past. No, no, no. We've always just been friends. We've oh always just been it's, friends? It's, it's kind of, okay. Exactly. That's like me and Sarah. We've always just been friends. Bro, but. What the <laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> well, Sorry, sorry. I'm very excited for Wednesday. Wait, is she really bringing a, get a date? She, You're lying. She is. That's funny. It's going to be cr and Okay, here. Can I tell you the date that I've set up for you? I think it's good. It doesn't need to be that the serious. date that you set up for me? Okay, let me just tell you. Can I just tell you? Okay. Going on? Okay. So, uh. Skylar's assistant, Riley. She never gets out. She never leaves her house. She just went through a breakup. <gasps> um, they broke up? They did. They did. Um, it's for the best. Uh, but I was, I think she needs just like, you're just a good guy. It's not going to be serious, but it'd be really nice if she knows I'm bringing a date for her. It'd be nice if you just showed up and like, hey, I'm Brad. Like, and you guys are just sweet, nice, friendly, does no, nothing serious, no kissing. I'm there I'm, for the food, dude. And can you just be her date for like 20 minutes? I'm not anyone's date. What does it, it make what her is, date? It makes it make her happy and excited. What does a date mean? Like, what does that even mean? Like, hey, Riley, uh, I surprised you with a very great guy, very handsome, smart, sophisticated <laughs> not, man. And I'm you telling come, you, he's not going to do that. I can't do it. I, I know. He yeah. wouldn't even go with me to your party in the same car together. Can you just say yes for our vlog really quick? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just no, dude, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. All right, all right. I can't do it. We'll see when you get there. I can't. I'll be there. I'm. I'm there to eat the food and to meet. What Riley. else are you gonna eat? Oh, the food, sorry. dude. Okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm there eat to eat the food. food. Meet Riley. Just for the be a food. Good time. Mostly only for the food. And Literally, a bit of I'm actually what food's gonna be there? Ninety percent food, ten percent Riley. Hundred percent food. What okay. food's gonna be there? He's never been good at math. Okay. Um, what food's gonna be there? Who's cooking? Oh, I think we're catering. So it's oh. gonna be like, perfect. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Oh my God. Big it's turkey. Cool. A lot of food. Um, I, I, I have a we surprise for you. I have a surprise for you. What? Please. I got I got a date for you. Wait, what? It was right here. No, no, I got a better date. Who? Is this a joke? You fucking? No, I'm not. You. What's going on? So it's someone that 
Autumn been Falls. Friends with, no, 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 not on Falls. You've oh. been friends with for a while. Jesus. <laughs> you've been friends with for a while. That's Who? his friend. It's someone you've known for a little You're bit. You're about to say Jacob. Yes. <laughs> I knew he was going to yes. fucking that say That would be better. <laughs> yes. Take a gay guy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do Jacob oh, dirty? No, Jacob's not gay. Don't oh, do him dirty oh like that. Oh, my God. That's insane. That. You know, when, when we used to share beds traveling, I did wonder if you were a little... <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Um, go to the Raw Gear Discord. Ask us some questions for next week. I love yep. you guys. I have to go to a dentist appointment. I don't know what these two. Okay, okay, one second. Say- I'm so sorry to interrupt this. How many thousand likes do you, get, you guys usually get? I don't thousand likes. I get, I like, we know, get like, a lot. We get a lot. Like twenty thousand. Yeah. Thirty thousand. More. Really? Yeah. Really. This is popping. Okay. Twenty-five thousand likes, and Brad's bringing me on the next pod. Thank you. Oh, Brad. we don't get that many likes. Yeah, sorry. What, how do I get a part? But of you're this? on the pod right now. I want to be. Can it be mommy, daddy? Son. And Nick. son, son, yeah, and mommy, daddy, son, and son. Nick. That'd be so fun, wouldn't it? Would that you would ever do fun. a pod? You're good at talking. I'm not a podcast guy. No, I'm just kidding, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll never. You know what I respect pod. about you though is your grind. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Hard worker. We can catch up over food, friendsgiving, and talk about the grind. Okay, what should I wear again? Whatever you want, casual. Do you want to wear a gym fit? Wear a gym fit. I don't care. Wow. Be you. Wow, that's wow. so sweet. What should Jacob wear? Bye, guys. No, Jacob, Love you're you. going. Jacob, you got to go. You're a Brad's date. Didn't you get a two-piece swimsuit or something you want to try? <laughs> <laughs>